Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about sorting. This is the new chapter from your class 12th NCRT computer science book. So let's get started with what is sorting and the types of sorting that we have to study. Okay. So starting with the definition, sorting means to arrange the elements, the numbers, the alphabets that are given to you. And you have to arrange these elements in some kind of order. That order can either be an ascending order, that means the increasing order, or it can be a descending order, which is the decreasing order. Okay. Now, when you talk about numbers, then you understand what is increasing and decreasing. But when you talk of characters, then ascending and descending will be in terms of their alphabetical order, okay, or the ASCII values that are associated with each character, okay. Also, when you are comparing strings or when you are sorting strings, you will be doing mostly on the basis of their length or the characters, the ASCII values of the characters that are present in different strings. Okay, so sorting can be performed in either order and it can take any particular characteristic of the element into consideration, but uh, sorting basically arranges the elements in some particular form okay now why do you have the need or why do you uh, want to sort the elements that is also important to know sorting generally helps in a uh, quick search okay so uh, say you have a dictionary all the uh, words in a dictionary are sorted first alphabetically then on the basis of the characters that are following the first alphabet right first character so it will it it becomes easier for you to find an element in a dictionary that is why it is sorted otherwise it will be a hell lot of task to search for a word so sorting that means some kind of arrangement makes it easier when you have to find some uh, element in a large set of elements in large variety of numbers strings characters or any element that you have sorted okay so that is the purpose of sorting and learning different types of sorting algorithms now there are three main types of sorting algorithms that we will be studying in this chapter the first is bubble sort second is selection sort and the third is insertion sort so in today's lecture we will be starting with bubble sort so the concept behind bubble sort is really easy just like a bub the bubbles in a soda bottle or in a um, cola can come up to the top that is the same concept that we will be following here also so the bubble sort basically compares adjacent elements so if you have say five elements bubble sort will compare each pair of elements pair in a sense that two elements have to be present at adjacent locations so the elements present at index 0 and 1 will be compared then elements at index values 1 and 2 2 and 3 and so on and every time you compare the elements you will see whether the order of those two elements is correct or not that means if you are arranging in a ascending order in the increasing order then the element that is present at the lower index value should be smaller or equal to the index to the element that is present at the higher index value so the element present at say index value 0 should be less than the index the element present at index value 1 and so on okay so every time you are considering two elements in a pair and you are comparing both those both these elements that you are considering and if the elements are not in the correct order you will be swapping these elements now swapping means interchanging their positions so if the element that is present at index 0 is larger than the element present at index 1 you will interchange their positions and then you will proceed ahead with the changed values okay so uh, now to say so say you are arranging the elements in an ascending order so what will happen when you start sorting and comparing elements using the logic of bubble sort in each pass there will be multiple iteration so you need to be very clear about the concept of pass and iteration an iteration in terms of bubble sort means comparison of two elements and a pass means 
uh, when all the elements have been gone through once so once you traverse the entire list of elements that you have to sort then it will be considered as one pass and every time in a pass there will be multiple comparisons and those comparison comparisons will be between the pair of elements you are considering so we will understand this with an example that will be much more clear for now you must understand the logic of bubble sort and how things are actually working okay now so when you start comparing elements pair wise you will see that after the first pass you will get the largest element at the very end of the list for in the case of ascending order so if you are trying to uh, sort the elements using bubble sort in an ascending or increasing order when your first pass is pass gets completed that means you have considered all the adjacent pairs you will automatically get the largest element and that element will be present at the rightmost that means towards the end of the list and this sorted element will not be considered in subsequent passes because there is no use of uh, useless comparisons if you know that one particular element is present at its correct position that is at the end of the list then you do not need to perform more comparisons okay so this is an important point because uh, every if you if you start comparing the elements that are already sorted you will be wasting memory you will be wasting resources time and this is not uh, this will won't be a good algorithm to work with okay so the list gets sorted and the list that is uh, unsorted gets reduced the size of that list gets reduced in each pass because in each pass you will get one element that gets placed at its correct position towards the end of the list okay now if the bubble sort algorithm is working with n elements the total number of passes always will be n minus 1 so if your uh, if your list that you have to be sorted can say contains 10 elements in 9 that means 10 minus 1 passes 9 passes the entire list will get sorted now let's take an example and see how does the bubble sort actually work so we have an original list of elements that consist of six elements say 8 7 13 1 minus 9 and 4 okay so the first two elements that will be compared will be 8 and 7 okay because these are the this is the first adjacent pairs now we'll see the how bubble sort works in each pass and inside each pass how the uh, adjacent elements are being compared in a pair okay so in the beginning when you have not performed any pass any iteration the number of sorted elements are zero total number of elements that means n is 6 so actually this list should be sorted in n minus 1 that means 6 minus 1 equal to 5 passes so let's see if that is correct or not so here we are sorting this list in ascending order and in the first pass what we have to do we have to look at the first pair first uh, set of adjacent elements which is the elements that are present at index 0 and 1 the elements are 8 and 7 now since we are arranging the elements in the ascending order so the order of these two elements is not right 8 is greater than 7 so it should come after 7 therefore in this particular iteration we perform the action of swapping that means interchanging the position of both these elements so in the next iteration of this pass the position of these two elements gets changed and this pair in itself gets sorted so now the changed position is 7 and 8 okay now with these changed positions we will consider the next pair so the next adjacent pair uh, that means the next pair of adjacent elements we will consider is the uh, elements present at index 1 and 2 and the index value the elements at these index values are 8 and 13 
since 8 is less than 13 and it is present at the correct position so we will not perform any change to this list in this particular iteration next we will proceed ahead in the next iteration we will compare the next pair of adjacent elements present at index values 2 and 3 and these elements are 13 and 1 clearly since these elements are arranged in uh, in the incorrect order when we have to arrange in ascending order so we will swap their positions so 13 will now come after 1 and the new list will be this where the position of 7 is at index 0 8 is at index 1 at index 2 the element is 1 and at index 3 the element is 13 so these positions are interchanged from the previous iteration okay now in the next iteration the pair of elements that we are considering is at index values 3 and 4 now since this pair is not correctly ordered so we swap this is the action that we perform and the resulting list is this 7 8 1 minus 9 and 13 followed by 4 so the last pair for this pass that has to be compared with uh, the elements have to be compared is 13 and 4 these are the elements that are present at index 4 and 5 okay so we compare them they are not in the correct order they are not in ascending order so we swap them so the a list present at the end of first iteration is 7, 8, 1, minus 9, 4 and 13. So as you can see and as we saw in the rules also, after the first pass, the largest element has been bubbled up, bubbled up to the end. That means to the, to its correct position. Now this particular element is considered sorted and the list that is unsorted is the starting 5 elements. So in the consequent passes in the next pass for the bubble sort we will not consider the element 13 because it is present at its correct location and the number of sorted elements have now increased to 1. Okay, So coming to pass 2, in the pass 2 we will uh, consider this very list first in the first iteration we will compare the first pair of adjacent elements which are at index 0 and 1 and the elements are 7 and 8 now since these elements are ordered correctly so there will be no change in their positions next we will compare elements 8 and 1 which are present at index values 1 and 2 8 and 1 are not in the correct order so we will swap their positions so the list will now become 7 1 and 8 now coming to the next pair the next pair will start at index 2 and go till index 3 so here also the elements are not present in their correct order because we want to arrange them in increasing order so we will swap these elements so the list now becomes 7 1 minus 9 and 8 4 and 13 the next pair that we will consider is at index 3 and 4 the values are 8 and 4 and again this is not the right order that we want so we will swap and the final at the final step we get this particular list now look very carefully that we did not perform the checking with the last element because it was already sorted okay so we did not consider the pair 4 and 5 because this pair uh, need does not need any comparison the element 13 is already at its correct position that means the element that will now be present at 4 after comparing the pair present at 3 and 4 index values will be at its correct position okay so now at the end of second pass we have two sorted elements because uh, uh, see 8 was the largest element that were that was present in the unsorted part of the list that was the first five elements so now we have got 8 also at its correct position 13 was present at its correct position after the end of pass 1 okay so now in pass 3 we will only compare elements till 
index value 3 we will not go beyond this because we have two sorted elements which are at their correct positions now okay now let's quickly complete the remaining passes so uh, since there are six elements actually this should get sorted in five passes let's see if that is true or not so uh, the first pair that has to be compared is the pair at index 0 and 1 7 and 1 are not present at their correct position so we will swap them and these become 1 and 7 now after swapping the new value at index 1 is 7 and the value at index 2 is minus 9 so we compare this pair and we see that this also needs swapping so we swap them and the new list now becomes 1 minus 9 7 4 now uh, the last pair that has to be compared in this iteration is the pair 7 and 4 again there will be swapping and the elements would be 4 and 7 at locations 2 and 3 okay now since this is the end of pass 3 why it is the end because we knew that we have to compare the elements in pass 3 only till index value 3 okay so that is why we will not do any further comparisons and at the end of pass 3 we have three sorted elements so see you can you'll have to observe the pattern how things are happening at the end of pass one we had one sorted element at the end of pass two two sorted elements and at the end of pass three we have three sorted elements so at the end of pass five we should have five sorted elements and that only leaves one particular element and one particular element will definitely be at its correct position if all the other five elements are at their correct positions okay so uh, let's continue and complete this so in the pass four we have this particular uh, unsorted portion of three elements so the first pair that will be compared will be one and minus nine their position is incorrect so we swap them and then we compare the pair 1 and 4 their position is correct they are ordered correctly so we do not make any further changes and at the end of pass 4 we have 4 sorted elements and 2 unsorted elements so we go into pass 5 the only 2 elements that have to be compared are minus 1 and 9 now when we do this comparison we see that they are already sorted so after pass 5 we observe that the entire list becomes sorted okay so we have completed our bubble sort in five passes because there were six elements and we have sorted the initial unordered list okay now in the next video i will be explaining you the bubble sort algorithm and implementation but before that i would like to uh, uh, point out some patterns that you must know before starting with the algorithm and implementation so let's see the let let us say that i is the number of sorted elements in each pass so initially the value of i will be zero then the uh, let j be a variable that is storing the initial value uh, of the element that that will be compared that will be present in the first pair so j will in every pass we are starting the first pair of elements that we are comparing is 0 and 1 so the initial value of j will always be 0 in every new pass okay now you have to see that for each pass this value this uh, value will go till uh, the uh, pattern n minus i minus 1 because see in this first pass the two elements that were first compared was j and j plus 1 that means 0 and 0 plus 1 which is 1 then we incremented the value of j j became 1 and we compared it with the value j plus 1 which is 2 and so on in the first pass the last value that j will be taking will be n minus 1 n minus i minus 1 so n is 6 i was 0 and uh, minus 1 will give you 5 so 
you will have to traverse this particular loop that means you will have to make j go from the initial value which is 0 till its last value n minus i minus 1 which is 5 because in the in the uh, first pass we we went till the last index value 5 after the first pass one element was sorted so we wanted that this in the in the second pass we should only iterate till value 4 that means index value 4 so to keep a check on this particular uh, uh, value we will maintain a variable which is j then in the second pass when one element has been sorted the value of i becomes 1 so the j would now go from 0 to n minus i minus 1 that means n minus i is n minus 1 and minus 1 so n minus 2 which will go to 6 minus 2 that means 4 so j will now go till 4 okay so these are some patterns that you must remember while uh, writing the implementation or algorithm for bubble sort i'll also explain this again in the next video so stay tuned till we meet in the next video mind your exam